Hey, we're going to cook some fried rice today. Um, stuck in the house and don't want to go to the grocery store. So we're just cooking up some, uh, some scraps and making some fried rice. I got some bacon in here that we already pre-cooked. A little oil in the pan. And we got some vegetables. Frozen vegetables. We're frying it up a little bit. The pan was preheated. Now cooking up my rice. It's actually the hardest part right here. It's not too hard to make. So I'm just gonna break down the rice. It's out of the fridge, so it's kind of definitely cold rice. Put some soy sauce in here. About how much? Just try to color it. So for this much rice, that's about five tablespoons. Mm -hmm. uh, three tablespoons. Probably like two or three tablespoons. Yep. Okay. And uh, some oyster sauce. And you can get this at any food store if you don't have it at home. You can get it right by the soy sauce thing, and it's not very expensive at all. It's really strong, so you don't want to put a lot in there. Okay. So I got the fire on high. It looks really flat and goopy, but you just start stirring it in. And around how much do you think of the oyster sauce? Probably I would say uh, a tablespoon. Yeah, maybe, maybe a, a little less than that. Maybe was that you think so? Mm -hmm. I was trying to mix it in, get it all incorporated and stir it in. And the oyster sauce is what really makes it, not in the sesame oil that he's going to add later. Yeah, the sesame oil. So if you want to add soy, you can do it um, with soy and sesame oil, but um, the oyster sauce gives it like a special, really good taste. Yeah, definitely does. And you got to put your sesame seed oil at the end because if you cook it, it, the taste will just cook right out, really. It doesn't. It doesn't stick around, so you want to finish with your sesame seed oil. Or sesame oil. Here's sesame oil right here. Alright, so I like mixing an egg in here, so I got just one egg. Pop that in there. Let's see, I'm just going to stir it in. And it separates the rice greens and gives it a nice finish, like fried rice up to the Chinese restaurant. I like putting Spam in here a lot of times. That's definitely Hawaiian style. But you can put any kind of meat that you like. Beef, chicken, it's all up to you. Even pork. Yep, any kind of vegetables that you like. And it may sound crazy, but you can even put in like chopped up chicken nuggets or chicken patties that you might have from your freezer. You yeah. can do that too. Yeah, it's really, you know, we're just trying to trying to stay home, so there wasn't a whole lot that was defrosted today, so we're just making a quick meal and kind of using the little scraps here and there that we could put together and make a nice meal. There you go. Uh, pretty good. And then I'm just going to put a little sesame seed oil on here. Got to be real careful with this. Don't pour a lot on here. It'll overpower. So I like it a lot. But not, kind of right there is probably good, right there. So probably about a teaspoon for this huge can of rice. Yeah, so if you maybe do it a little bit, two. you yeah. can always add more if you want more flavor. But once you've added a bunch, you can't undo it. Yeah. So take it a little bit at a time with the sesame oil until you find the flavor you like. You can definitely smell it now. Mm -hmm. And there you go. And I kind of like to let it sit. And you can see the bottom starting to brown. Let me see if I can find that for you. You got the little browning going on. Well, it's cooking it on high. And that's it. Um, you can smell it. You can definitely smell the sesame seed oil coming off. And then I'll just put it in a bowl and show you. There you go. Fried rice. Not too hard. Have a good day.